Hi, I was tagged by my um, god sister, Brunette Diaries, who um, tagged me on this sort of skincare and makeup tag. I'd done a tag before, a makeup one, a while back, but you know, tags are always fun to do, so I thought I'd do this one and give it a go, and uh, why not? So I better get started because um, there's quite a lot of questions and we don't want to be here all day doing. So um, let's start off with the skincare. Um, the first question is how many times do you wash your face daily? Um, probably twice a day, uh, morning and in the evening, but if, I want, if I'm going somewhere special and I want to look fresh, I'll just wash my face again in the afternoon before I go out. And uh, so mainly twice or to three times a day, depending on what I'm going to do. So what type of skin do you have? Um, dry, oily combination. I would say I have combination skin where I'm oily around my um, forehead, my nose, um, sometimes here in the cheeks, but not so much. So just really on the T-zones. What is your current facial wash? Oh my goodness, I change my skin routine so many times because I don't know, I love to experiment on products and see which ones are really good. So I tend to change mine all the time. Um, right now I've been using um, a soap which was um, recommended by my dermatologist so I've been trying that and that's quite good because I've got quite oily skin so it kinda um, got rid of the oil and stuff. Do you ex exfoliate? Yes I do, um, at least twice a week. Um, so yeah, oh what brand do you use? Oh I use that, I think everyone uses this, that Saint Ives, Eves, whatever it's called, um, everyone uses that and the apricot one so I use that one. Um, pretty good because I've tried um, a few other um, exfoliators but they don't seem to take or well, get rid of the dry skin and stuff you know the, d the dirt and stuff so I thought St. Eves is the best one, St. Eves or Ives whatever. <laughs> what moisturizer do you use? Um, I use um, the well what has worked for me for the past three years is um, one that I got from my dermatologist again they have this special formula which works for me because I used to get lots of spots and pimples and it was so annoying um, and I think it depends on the products you use sometimes um, other products break, make you break out or it doesn't work so but this one does this dermatologist that I go to um, near me here in the Philippines so yeah I use that one and it works for me do you have freckles no, I don't have any freckles, <laughs> fortunately. Um, do you use eye cream? Yes, I use an eye cream. Um, I've been using Elastiderm eye cream by Obagi. It is so expensive for an eye cream. Seriously, it was like 5,000 pesos. That's like more than $100. Um, I know it's a lot of money, but I want it to work because I, like, I don't want to get any wrinkles or anything. So... Um, I guess I wanted to try and see if it worked. I think it has worked for me, so um, I've been using it since January, so I'm still testing out and seeing if it does work. Obviously, it won't work straight away, you know, it takes time, but I don't think I've got that many wrinkles under my eyes, but I want to prevent. That's the, that's the key. Um, do, you, did you, do you or did you have acne-prone skin? Yes, I did. As I said before, I did, but now I hardly get any pimples now because I've been using the products that my dermatologist gave me. Um, a while back and I have a facial every month um, and this thing called diamond peel where they get rid of all the dead skin and so it cleared up my skin a lot so I recommend getting a facial done every every month at least I'm um, here because in the Philippines quite cheap to have facial I don't know where you live in the world if it costs a lot but if not then try and get a good um, skin care um, routine going um, a product that probably works for your skin um, so that you don't have to do the facials as much. Um, okay, did you ever have to use Proactive? Um, no, I've never tried Proactive, but I've heard it's good because like all the celebra celebrities have been using it in America. So I don't know if it works though. So I don't know. <laughs> makeup. So we're in the makeup section now. Um, what foundation do you use? Um, as you know, I did a foundation review. Um, um, last time, my last video that I did, um, I used quite a lot of foundation, different types, but the one that has worked for me probably is the Mary Kay is my favourite one. Um, I've been using that for years and that is really good and it lasts for a long time. How about concealer? I use um, Benefit, I really like, oh, what's it called, Erased Paste 
concealer that lasts me for ages as well I just put a tiny bit on a brush and mix it in a bit and um, that has lasted me like a one little bottle lasts me for more than six months so and it really does hide the dark circles do you know your undertone color no I don't really know but my undertone color I'm sorry um, what do you think of fake eyelashes? Oh, I love fake eyelashes. I never know, knew how to put them on before, but now I've gradually sort, sort of learnt now how to put fake eyelashes. But they, they look so pretty, especially if you do it right. Um, so, and they always make you look glamorous. Um, and I like looking glam. So, yes, yeah, so I, I like fake eyelashes. But I've got quite long eyelashes anyway, so sometimes I put them on because otherwise I'll be like really, whew you know what I mean. <laughs> did you know that you were supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yep, I do. I did know that, but sometimes I just don't do it. I think most of us are guilty of that, not changing their mascara every three months. But um, sometimes, because I've got, oh, I tell you what, there's this really good mascara by Lancome. I think, oh, I forgot what it's called, hypnosis or something, hypnosis. Oh, I'll have to look that up. I'll let you know later on. Um, but that mascara is um, so good. It really curls your eyelashes and really makes them like really dramatic. So I recommend that Lancome one because I've tried Maybelline. Maybe I should do a review on mascaras. <laughs> what brand of, that's what I said, what brand of mascara do you use? I just said that. That was the next question. Um, Lancome. Uh, but I've used a lot of mascaras. I tried different ones so maybe I should do a review on that soon. Sephora or MAC? Um, I like both really. They're both really good. I, I managed to go to Sephora when I was in America last year and I loved it because it had like so much makeup there, different kind of brands. So either way, I mean MAC is good. It's like the high end, the Louis Vuitton of makeup. And Sephora is good as well because you've got choices really and it's good to have choices. So they're both good. Do you have a MAC Pro card? Nope, I don't have a MAC Pro card. Don't know what that is. Um, what makeup tool do you use in makeup application? Oh, ma what makeup tools? Oh, I use a mixture actually. I've got um, some from MAC, I've got some from Sephora, and I bought a, a couple of brushes recently from, can't pronounce it, Marinoid, Marinoid. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's a local brand here in the Philippines, so I've been using that. Um, do you use makeup base primer for the eyes? Um, no. Well, I did. I used to use that. Um, I tried the Urban Decay um, eye primer, but mine broke, and all of it came out and it dried out. So I haven't been using one for a while. Um, for the face, um, I did. I I was using Laura Messier um, primer which I got a free one from Sephora last year but I ran out of that so I haven't been using um, primer for a while but I don't know if it makes a difference really can't really tell okay what is your favorite eyeshadow color or shade um well I like oh I like the Urban Decay Naked palette um, I also like um, what is it called again oh MAC and recently I, I got for my birthday um, a whole palette of doll face eyeshadow palettes and they're really good. I've been using that re recently and it's got every single colour. Pr I'll probably show you that, a little video about that in later on. Um, okay, um, do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? Both. Use all. How often do you poke your eye with an eyeliner pencil? Not often, because I've been wearing makeup since I was probably 12 years old so um, kind of used to it by now I don't remember if I did poke my eye when I was 12 probably did but I can't remember do you think what do you think of pigment eyeshadows um don't know I haven't really used them before so I wouldn't know do you use mineral makeup uh, not so much I have tried um, the MAC mineral powder I think it was um, that was alright um, Nothing. I can't really tell with the mineral. What does? What difference does it make? Can anyone tell me? What's the difference between mineral and normal makeup? I mean, it looks the same to me, but must be something special, you know. <laughs> what is your favorite lipstick? Oh, I have loads of favorite lipsticks. Lately, I've been going on a shopping spree with lipsticks. I've bought ton of lipsticks. Oh goodness, 
Um, but I do like Mac, I guess. Mac and... Mac, yeah, Mac is my favourite. <laughs> How about lip gloss? Yeah, I've been going crazy with lipstick and lip gloss. I bought a few from um, the other... Oh, a few weeks ago. At, oh, from a Korean store called The House of Etude, is it? Etude? I can't pronounce it either. I'm so bad at pronouncing, aren't I? Um, yeah, so, favourite lip gloss? Oh, nothing in particular. I like them all as long as the colour is good. What is your favourite blush to use? I don't really have a favourite. I Oh, NARS! I do love NARS. Orgasm. I've been used I use that a lot. NARS by um, NARS. <laughs> okay. Do you buy your makeup on eBay? Um no, I haven't tried buying makeup on eBay. Do you like drugstore makeup? Uh yes, I do like drugstore makeup. Um so they're both good high end drugstore all sort of makeup. I try it all. <laughs> do you go to CCOs, cosmetic company outlets? Um not so much, but if there was like an outlet in London and in America, I think I went to a, a few outlets there. I don't remember. If I've, I've only bought a couple of things because sometimes they're very, very limited on the colours and stuff. Did you ever consider taking makeup classes? Oh, I love taking makeup classes. Um, I tried one a few years ago. That was fun. Um, but I'd like to do more. But I think watching YouTube is just like a makeup class and it's free. <laughs> um, are you clumsy in putting on makeup? Um, no, not really, not anymore. Name a makeup crime that you hate. Makeup crime that you hate. Oh god, I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure, I don't... Probably... Um, oh, I have no idea. There's... I don't think there is a crime with makeup. <laughs> okay, do you like colourful shades of makeup? Lipsticks, eyeshadows, or neutral ones. Oh, I like all colours. Neutral, bright. Um, yeah, I like them all. Which celebra celebrity has always has great makeup? Um, Jennifer Lopez has great makeup. Kim Kardashian. Um, well, all celebrities have good. Most celebrities have good makeup. So, um, yeah, mo those two are my favourite. J Lo and Kim Kardashian. Um, yeah. So, if you could leave the house using just one makeup item, what would you use? Um, well, that's hard, just one. Maybe powder. Powder, I guess. Because here in the Philippines it's so hot and I get all sweaty and oily. And so, just putting powder makes me a little bit fresher, I guess. Could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? Um, yeah, I could. I could. I have a few couple of times. Um, do you think you look good even without ma any makeup on? Um, yeah, I think I look okay without makeup. Sometimes I feel like naked without makeup on because you're so used to putting on makeup that after a while you're like, you feel bare without it. So I do feel a bit conscious without my makeup on sometimes, but I have been out without it. Um, but obviously you feel better and confident, e even more confident when you have a little bit on. So you want to cover up all those imperfections like bags and dark circles etc okay so in your opinion what is the best makeup line I don't think there is a best best makeup line because they're all good in different ways so I give them all the best makeup award all the all the brands out there what do you think of makeup what do I think of makeup I think it's fab it's fun um, and it sort of it makes you beautiful <laughs> instantly but um and it's like art really makeup as art yeah so those are the questions i'm done with that tag um but before i leave you um i just want to ask you all a favor um as you know i've joined this um talent search called avon voices um and i need your votes um i've got four days left until they they close the voting so i hope you will vote if you haven't voted already please please do that could be your uh birthday gift for me because <laughs> I just had my birthday a few days ago so please do vote um, closing date is May 20 um, I'll put the details how to do it down below all you have to do is register with Avon Voices look for me which is the Asia Pacific 
region and vote 75 times just click 75 times that's the limit anyway and uh, that's it really that's all you have to do and it's free you don't have to pay you don't have to do anything you just you know register and um, click away so I'll send put the details down below so I hope you enjoyed this tag thank you brunette diaries for tagging me um, I will tag a few people maybe um, if, but if you want to do this tag feel free to do so it's very long I have to say but you know it's fun <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll probably see you guys soon bye